Thank you for tuning in to ClickOrlando.com and just weather is going on. Well, how do you like today? Well, if you like Sunday, you're going to really like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're going to have a nice string of, of good weather days, and we're going to put them back to back to back to back, and maybe interrupted with a chance of rain as we get toward the end of the week. I'll show you that in just a second. But in the meantime, get used to that radar picture there. We're not going to be seeing a lot of action. Now, is rain totally ruled out? It's Florida. You can't do that. So I think maybe uh, some easterly winds that could always blow a little little shower in along some of our coastal communities. In the meantime, Sunday marked a 90 degree high temperature and the overnight low was 71 degrees. Those temperatures are not going to change much over the next few days. It's going to be, you know, a good night for sleeping. Monday's a great day, rain free, lots of sunshine. Don't forget to apply some sunscreen and then sunny and no rain all the way into Thursday. I didn't include Friday. I could have, but I didn't because I think that's the day that's kind of a transition. We might build up enough moisture and there always could be some rain by Friday, but I think we're actually going to try and hold off till about maybe Saturday and maybe Sunday too. So anyway, we'll talk about that in a moment. This is what's uh, going on today or Sunday anyway. 91 at the Cape, 91 at the coast, 88 at the villages and 87 in Leesburg. There is um, a, a little bit of a system that pushed through and it drug a cold front through the area and that kind of reinforced the drier air. And it really isn't going to be any cooler. It's going to be the same tomorrow, but the drier air is going to keep the humidity down. It's going to make it a lot more comfortable. And the winds tomorrow start out of the north, then they switch to the east. We'll see plenty of sunshine. I don't expect that to change. Good boating conditions, good uh, swimming conditions too. Rip current threats low, but always check with your lifeguard so you know what exactly is going on. See the little green speckles there? Computer says, I eh, can't rule out rain. It's Florida and it can happen just about any time. But for the most part, the next four days are really we're on the rain-free side. So that means it's great beach weather. 84 for the air temperature. The water temperature is around 80. There's that rip current threat. Very low. Not much to play with as far as surfing goes. For boating, great. You know, break out the dinghy. Light chop on the intercoastal. Here's what we're expecting overnight. Temperatures dropping down into the 60s. However, Cocoa Beach could hang on to a 71 degrees. City Beautiful is going to be dropping on down. We're going to take these numbers, keep it going down until we finally reach an overnight low of around 66 degrees. Here's what's going on tomorrow, hour by hour. We start out at 70. We get up to 83. 89 is the high temperature for tomorrow. It's a sunscreen and water <coughs> kind of day. Here's what's going on as far as the next seven days. We're going to keep it sunny until we get to the end of the week. And then Saturday and Sunday could be an uh-oh. That's the latest on the weather. I'm Danny Trainer. Thanks for stopping by.